Yeah, yeah, Brendan Smith here, Chairman. Could I, ju- could I just go back to, I think it was Anne who made the point, that if we were to to favour very strongly the holding of a referendum, the referenda, both north and south on the same day, simultaneous, that we would be allowing the British Secretary of State to set the agenda. Well, now, if there's if both governments are at outheads, and if there's not an agreement towards putting that question to people, then we're in a difficult place at that particular time. And that, but, but what we want to see is that the union, that everybody will 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 be comfortable with a referendum being held at that time. So I, I, I my, being a practicing politician, I think it would be ludicrous not to have the question put to the, the people on all of this island on the same day. Could I also just mention, Etain mentioned the two words, stability and inclusivity. And I think that's extremely important. And in our earlier comments, she made the point that in the, that leading up to a referendum, or at the present time, we need the Irish and British governments working more closely through the different institutional arrangements that are in place. The political architecture is there for the government to work close, more closely together and more north south cooperation as well. Could I just say that we, I have often argued that as a necessary component in preparing for a referendum would be maximising the existing potential of the Good Friday Agreement, which has not been done at the present time. And I would argue using to the very to the benefit of all the people of this Ireland, all aspects of the Good Friday Agreement is an essential preparation for the holding of a referendum. Thank you, Akahirlich.